Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron for the Great War as Italy. Let's continue on from the last left off. So, we have taken uh, Libya from the Ottomans. We fortified Sicily, which is great. Two civilian factories is pretty nice. Uh, down here, we'll be able to actually get four civilian and four military, which will also be pretty good. It will mean that I have a reason to actually try to defend Libya. Which right now, I honestly don't really have the incentive to do. I'm going to invest in civilian though, just so we can, I think... Build up military factories a little bit faster, because that's really what I'm spending most of my energy on. Or most of my civilian factories on, I should say. It's just building up our uh, military as much as humanly possible. So you can see that the French army right now is currently training, and I mean, that's not a bad idea. I'm still missing like a thousand field guns, though, which is an issue. Well, we do have a million uh, infantry equipment. So I'm going to duplicate you. Put in infantry, infantry, get our way back up to 20. You will now be two dice. And we'll just train up you guys, because you will not require the artillery that uh, I am definitely lacking. So what's the thing like uh, heavy artillery in this? Basically, it's better in every single way. Like, actually significantly better. Like, the piercing, it goes up significantly. So maybe we do want, like, some infantry divisions with, um... Heavy artillery. I'm gonna, like, duplicate you again. Replace these with heavy artillery. You are now going to be the lightning tank. Just so I can definitely uh, keep track of you. Train up like three of them for now. And then we will also start producing a handful of heavy artillery. Because I'm sure I will need a lot of them. Yeah, three like that. Like we're starting to build some scales. We're starting to build some aircraft. Which again is nice. We do need those. And yeah, basically we immediately use all of our infantry equipment to train up these troops. Which is good because that's actually what I wanted them to do in the first place. What are you missing? Support equipment, okay. So how long is support equipment going to be take to uh, get completely filled up? 2,000 days, huh? That is a while. I will admit. Yeah, nothing really gets done until 1916, at least for this tree. 1916 here as well. Recovery rate, air superiority already plus 1%, it's not bad. I'm going to get the submarine attack because I know we are building them. So I think overall that probably is a good idea. They got the high fleet seat. High sea fleet. They have a convoy. Convoy escort efficiency plus 20%. I don't think that's actually that great. You're all 1914. You know what? I'm going to get the armored cars. But we don't even have, we're not even building like the default armored cars. And you're still 1.4 years ahead of time, so... I guess we're just gonna get. I guess we're gonna go down it anyways. I'm gonna go down the Air Force one as well. So the Balkan League's been formed. The Duke of Luxembourg has died, and I don't think that really makes any difference to anybody involved. So when can you actually attack them, though? You can attack in March. So after you've done your current focus, you'll be able to do it. And I don't think the Ottomans are going to really be able to uh, fight them off. To be completely honest with you. I don't even know if they're going to be able to leave this area. Like, I can't give them military access. At least not until we're in a faction together. Which, again, will happen around sometime mid to late 1914. I think we just want the attrition going down. I mean, I honestly don't think there's anybody who's, like, that great. Do we need factories over here? The answer is no. We do have like a naval base with seven ships. I'm going to immediately transfer them all the way up to the north. You know, at least go into uh, Benghazi. And I'm actually going to pull you over here as well. 
Because, again, de defending Somalia, it's probably not actually going to be that important for us. Two more civilian factories just give us a little bit of benefit. Benefit, 100,000 manpower. I don't think it's actually that great. And we can't do this. Because we're still waiting for Albania to exist. And Albania won't exist until the Balkan War is over. Let's develop uh, Cernesia, because that's at least uh, the territory that we're currently actually defending. I don't know where Trip Tripoli is this northern part. Okay. So we're going to defend this corner. It has two ports. It doesn't have an airport, unfortunately, but I'm sure everything will be okay anyways. You guys do have fleets. You do some admirals. I mean, I probably do need to recruit some admirals in the future. Okay, so we've upgraded our boats again. So I'm only going to train up one of you. We'll at least get our. We'll get 10 submarines. We'll get three of these cruisers. Maybe we do want to be building up more naval bases. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but again, I don't have that, I don't have that many uh, factories. And, you know, I only have 14. I don't have enough to actually build up a full thing yet. I guess we'll build four in not in Sicily actually. We're gonna build four in Venezia, or two in Venezia, just because you know that is gonna be at least behind enemy lines. Okay, the Olympic Games have begun, and we're still. You know, two years before we can really think about organization plus five. Organization's pretty good. Static defense or mobile defense? Heart attack plus ten percent. Self attack plus ten percent. And five, five plus five organization, or plus fifteen organize. Ooh. Okay. Now we're definitely gonna go for static defense then. Come on. Uh, trench warfare. My favorite of all the warfares. None of you, I think, is important. This stuff's basically locked off for like four more years. You guys are locked up for another three years. You guys really aren't going to do anything for us. At least not right now, I believe. I mean, I can build submarines. I can upgrade them. You know what? I think I am going to at least upgrade them to the next level. Because we were building submarines at least at a faster place than our dreadnoughts. Which, more or less, are not getting built at all. It'll also be nice to try to attack France and try to seize some of those valuable goods for ourselves. Agri, did you decide... To, no, you have not decided if you actually want to be uh, friends with us. But you should definitely try to secure my loyalty, if you know what I mean. Not wink, wink, nudge, nudge, please give me territory. Okay, so the war against the Ottomans have begun. I'm sure Serbia, Montenegro, Bulgaria, and Greece are going to have a completely A-OK -okay time uh, dealing with that. We probably do want to be prepared for war. We need to do it anyways to join the Central Powers. I mean, 100,000 manpower, I mean, it's nothing to sneeze at. It would still be nice to have, uh, anyways. I'm actually gonna slow. I'm gonna just slightly reduce the volume. There we go. And yeah, I know uh, the Ottomans basically have been completely crushed. And then after that, you still have to attack Bulgaria, don't you? Yeah, then you gotta punish Bulgaria. The London Peace Conference has not occurred. I don't know when it will occur. Like I'm guessing, just after. Uh, Whatever the, the decision is, the event that actually ends the war here in the Ottomans, the Ottoman Empire. I have no idea what happens if the Ottomans actually win. I just know that they're not supposed to win. Coastal fort, anti-air weapons. I mean, let's go for the political power gain. No, that's silly. 
capital ships, carriers. No, we're going to go for... Okay, what about you? Capital ships, green attack. You're just better. So I don't know why you'd ever want the other guy. It actually makes no sense. So the Emperor is dead. Enter Meiji of Japan has uh, died. The Republic of China is slowly eating away the Qing Dynasty, so I'm not too sure what the hell is actually happening there. To be completely honest. Like, I'm pretty sure the Qing is not supposed to exist. But we're going to ignore it for now. Again, just there. That, see, right now we can't see it on the screen, so it doesn't exist. They've got submarine too. This will be the last ship, and then we are just going to start uh, producing submarine twos. Yeah, as soon as it's done, put all your points in submarine twos. Should work out pretty okay. So we can't join the Atom. We can't join the Central Powers again until Albania exists. You gain entrenchment people is four percent. Some land force in Somalia is more or less garbage, I think. Like we're not even I'm not even putting troops in Somalia, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Next out level submarines not until 1914, so we can kind of ignore that safely for now. And again, we're kind of at the point where there's nothing really to research until World War II actually, or before World War One actually begins. So until 1914, I guess 1913, like halfway through 1913, once the ahead of time penalty is not so so bad. There's nothing we can actually really research, and I really would like a uh, more factories or more supplies. Since Italy is not very rich. I know, it's sad to hear, but unfortunately the situation is not that wonderful. Yeah, no, there's like f there's like five, no, there's six uh, Ottoman divisions that are just stuck in Libya and they cannot get out. When can you join the second Balkan War opportunity? Yeah, and eventually you can also gain up, gain up on Bulgaria. Yeah, so they're definitely going to join the Central Powers at some point after May 1914. Do I have a timeline on that as well? I think it's just until, um... Claim Savoy. War in Europe. Yeah, not until Germany's at war with France. So... It'll actually probably make attacking through Savoy incredibly easy. Because what'll probably happen is when Germany declares war in France... France will send all their troops up to the north, and my defend my border down here will more or less be undefended. And then I join the Central Powers and rush our way through. Oh, France. You don't know what you have done. And then after that, Russia should be pretty easy to deal with, I, I would imagine. Like, I want to annex all of Qing into the Republic of China, just through the straight transfer tool. But I'm just worried that it's not going to actually work out the way I think. And it's going to break things even more. So the Ottomans, I mean, they've actually killed more Serbian troops than they've lost. I kind of I kind of want to send the reinforcements, to be completely honest. I want to give um, the Ottomans some support. So let's get some two military factories. That's how we can get two civilian factories in the region. Uh, like, what are the, what, what's the... Manpower on both sides. We're looking at about 225 against about 300,000. So, I mean, they are on the losing side in terms of numbers. But honestly, I don't think it's that bad. And also, we're definitely running out of uh, technologies to even research. Yeah, so these all these Ottoman troops right here are just completely dead. So, pretty sure... Oster, who are you supporting? You're sending troops to the Ottomans. But that's about it. Modify our government. 
let's throw in... Uh, like a ship builder? No, let's go for like a light aircraft. The one that looks like a very angry spider. I think that should be okay. Also, I feel like this war is going on for a long while. We've got about 30 days until you're actually ready to go. I mean, like, World War One's going to begin in like a year and a half. So everybody better be uh, getting ready for the big one. They're strengthening ties with Germany, which are not going to be giving me any territory. The jerks. Just the worst. Then French diplomats. So you're supporting the United Kingdom. Um, anything else happening? Not that I'm aware of, or nothing that I should be. Uh, guarantee France, Luxembourg, the Netherlands. 100,000 manpower. You don't, you don't like me, but again, that doesn't really matter. Once we're on the same side, it is what it is. And I don't think anybody else can really do anything else, right? Somehow, um, India's taken a neutrality position. I don't really know that's how it works, but okay. Does Japan have its own tree? It does. 13 demands, 21 demands. Plains Pacific Islands. Of course, they're going to be joining the Entente. Not a huge surprise. I mean, Japan's probably going to be sending troops to Europe. Which, if you know anything about World War I, is a little bit strange. Uh, but they're definitely going to try to, you know, take over German claims in the uh, in China itself. Maybe they're going to go to war with each other again? I literally have no idea. Maybe they actually can't go to war with each other. I don't really know. But let's get that 15 organization. I mean, that seems really, really, really good. It's probably really good because it's going to make uh, trench warfare just last for actual eons. So, we have one more military factory. Uh, what do we need more of? 92 days here. 1,700 days. I think that's definitely going to be the, uh, the winner. So, let's put four more into support equipment once the time, e once the time comes. When I said uh, that it was rare for me to run out of uh, building slots, we're kind of reaching that point, aren't we? We definitely, we definitely are. But Albania still doesn't exist. Because this war over here is still not over. It will end soon. I'm pretty sure, like, somehow these Ottoman troops that are in this like, little area, they have no supplies and are almost around it. I'm surprised that they're able to hold on as well as they are. But as soon as that little pocket is defeated, I'm 99% sure that uh, the Ottomans are going to lose. So, okay, there's priority mission efficiency plus uh, 3%. Because most of our planes right now are fighters. Like, what's my Air Force right now? We're looking at a pretty impressive 51 planes. Compared to everybody else, it's actually nothing. If anything, the AI is more planes than you would expect uh, a 1913 world power to have. And none of our troops are deploying because, yeah, they do need that, uh, those beautiful, beautiful support equipments. Which essentially nobody has right now. They're only making two a day and we need, uh, 3,000? So it's going to take a while. There's no doubt about that. So what's your problem? Guys, is oh, you also go underneath them. What's your problem right now? Just 0%. You don't think the enemy's uh, inferior, but you also don't think that the French are superior, which is a pretty big distinction. We got another 20 days until you are ready to go. We got about a year until the war actually begins. And maybe Serbia will eventually push the armament out of, uh, you know, Epirus. But maybe not, we'll see. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If not, you can click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.